and welcome to Sam and Ham. This is Sam, and today we're going to be going over one of our draconic gods from the continent of Exilia. Bahama is a lawful good god, and his source material comes from the Fey Run, the Forgotten Realms. And Bahama is a god of good dragons, law, and war. While he never wishes for unneeded violence, he knows that you must fight for when it's called for. While he is most commonly worshipped by metallic dragons and metallic dragonborn, he is also worshipped by many who have heard tales of his exploits, and even chromatic dragons respect his strength. To dive deeper into Bahamut's backstory and his lore, he actually was not always a god. In fact, he was one of the younger gods worshipped in Exilia, and he shares this title with his sister, Tiamat. Bahamut was originally a metallic dragon, and actually the leader of metallic dragons who came to Exilia seeking aid from the Mortal Rises in 1074. During the war, Bahamut uh, was always a dragon of action. Despite being incredibly outnumbered, Bahamut would always lead his fellow dragons and their mortal allies into battle against the Chromatic Dragon, especially if he knew that Tiamat would be there. These siblings were a little bit different than your average uh, siblings, considering they were always at war with each other. Uh, it wasn't until the year of 1105 that Bahama and Tiamat had their final duel. According to the legends, it's said that it wasn't until the third day their fight concluded and they both ended up perishing. Uh, this battle ended up leading to the common dragonborn expression, let us fight for four days, uh, basically meaning uh, let's fight harder than even the gods. With both leaders dead, armies on both sides began to pray for their victory in their name. And with that much prayer and faith, led both dragons to ascend to godhood. Bahamut's symbol is the head of a dragon with a star for an eye. And that is all I have for today about Bahamut. Stay tuned for further gods of Exilia and more draconic lore.